Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So in this video, we'll be analyzing slope stability with rainfall infiltration in Fluxis 2D. So we have the example geometry shown over here. And now let's model this geometry in Fluxis 2D. So we have 40 meter in X direction and we have the dimension in Y direction. The maximum is 14 meters. So let's start the new project we'll be selecting plane strain model with 50 noded element here we'll be selecting x maximum is 40 meters we have the maximum dimension in x direction is 40 meter and in the y direction we have maximum dimension 14 meter so now okay now in the next step we'll move towards this structure and here we'll be selecting create soil polygon and now we'll have to check the coordinates of the geometry here 0 0 40 0 4 and 40 and then this point is uh, 30 in the x direction and y uh, 4 in the y direction so let's try to model this okay Forty here now four in the y direction then we'll come to the 30 in the x direction and four in the y direction and then nine and twenty nine in the y direction and twenty in the x direction so we have defined the first layer of the geometry now we have to define the upper layer that is 14 and here it is now 14 here and then 10 in the x direction so this is how we'll model the geometry now in the next step we'll have to define the soil layers soil properties so we'll move towards the soil and here we'll be selecting show material now we have to define the material properties new upper layer we'll be selecting mohurkula model drained and we'll be changing the color of upper layer and now we have the unit weight then the parameters elastic modulus is 15 megapascal or 15,000 kilonewton per meter square and we have the Poisson's ratio 0.25 for this case for the upper layer we have cohesion 4 angle of internal friction 20 you can see here okay now the upper layer is defined we have to define the lower layer of the soil mohurkula model i'll be changing colors a little bit from here now we have to assign the unit weight values then the parameters elastic modulus for the lower layer is 25000 kilonewton per meter square and the poisson's ratio is 0.2 is 0.23 and then cohesion for this layer is 8 and angle of internal friction is 25 now the second layer is been defined now we have to assign these properties to the corresponding layers now the lower layer i'll be simply dragging this layer to assign the properties to the geometry now the properties have been assigned now we'll go to the mesh generation and here we'll be generating mesh 
we can select medium coarse very coarse but i'll be going with oh, i can view the mesh so here you can see the mesh assigned or mesh generated in the geometry now we'll close it and now we'll move towards the flow conditions to simulate the rainfall infiltration so we can simulate the rainfall infiltration by selecting control click here then press control and slick uh, select the periphery of this slope like this now here in the selection explorer you will have to change the behavior so here i'll be selecting infiltration to simulate the rainfall infiltration in Plaxic. so now i'll be putting the value of rainfall infiltration as 0.01 meter per day so infiltration is rate of infiltration is 0 0.01 meters per day so now i'll be moving towards the stage construction so i have simulated the rainfall infiltration now i'll be moving to the stage construction so in the initial phase double click over here and i'll be selecting the gravity loading because the surface is not horizontal when the uh, when the surface or geometry is not horizontal you cannot apply the key knot procedure you will have to select gravity loading okay add another face double click and i'll be giving it the id of uh, displacement this placement rest of the things will remain same click ok now i'll be selecting initial phase and then i'll be adding another phase double click on phase 2 and identity is safety factor and here i'll be selecting safety so calculation type is safety to calculate the factor of safety okay now the all the procedure is completed now we have to proceed with the calculation so click calculate calculate now the calculation process is started for all the phases So now we'll be viewing the calculation results. Here you can see the deformed shape of the slope. If we want to check the slip surface, we'll go to total displacement UX and you can see the slip surface in fluxes. Now, if we want to know the factor of safety value, will move towards the curve generation or curve manager new chart here i'll be selecting project with step and here i'll have to select multiply and here i'll be selecting submission msf and this multiplier is for vector of safety click ok and you can see the factor of safety value factor of safety values if i want to know the lowest factor of safety value i'll be clicking on table and here you can see the value 
that is almost 1.35 so close So 1.35 is the factor of safety value for this particular case. So if you want to write the value over here, you can just add label and annotations. Caption is FOS factor of safety value is 1.35 so this is how you can write the factor of safety value over here so I hope you like the video if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and share thank you and Allah Hafiz